Hi guys, hope you're all doing well. Les Shelley here. So in this reading, I wanted to take a look at everything that you need to know about the person that you're meant to be with. Yeah, your future spouse, your soulmate, your ultimate boo, however you want to refer to them. And without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at today's options. See which one you want to do all to, and do all everything it, and let's go ahead and get started. My amazing option number one, hi and welcome to your reading guys. Get comfy and as I'm shuffling the cards, say your name out loud or in your head it helps you better connect to the energies of the reading and find out more about the person that you're meant to be with. So I'm going to do this in kind of like a free flow energy, so whatever questions are going to come up, you know, whether you already know this person, if not, how are you going to meet, when you're going to meet, uh, kind of anything that comes through about this particular person that you're truly meant to be with. All right, well, let's begin. So we have the Fool. So this is quite interesting that I started talking about, you know, whether this is going to be somebody new or somebody that you know. So with the Fool, <clears throat> for the majority of you, my lovely option number one, I'm going to tell you this. This is going to be a new person, or this is the person you met very recently. This is a timeless reading, so I would say from this reading, maybe a couple of months, no longer than that. Yeah? So the person that you're meant to be with, guys, this is somebody um, with a very good sense of humor, and your relationship might start out as a friendship. So here we are kind of, I want to clarify a couple of things. You might be friends with this person already. But it feels like the romantic part, either it started very recently, either it's about to begin. Because it's kind of like this energy, like on the edge sort of thing, you know what I mean? You might be flirting with your friend and you might be thinking, okay, well, do they feel the same and you don't want to mess up the friendship? And they might feel very much uh, just like that. But... Honestly, they're giving me somebody who's a lot of fun. They're giving me somebody with a sweet energy because the fool is very sweet and it's very innocent. So for the majority of you, like I said, you know, it feels like it's a new person um, and it is going to quite possibly begin with a friendship. Okay. Now, for those of you who don't have a friend yet that you can flirt with, let me try and get the timing over here. Ten of Cups. Oh my God, guys. This is such a beautiful story. This is such a beautiful energy for you, my lovely option number one. Yeah, check out this card. It's so, so cute. It's absolutely cute. So uh, for those of you who don't know this person, guys, within the next 10 months, this person is coming into your life. But for the majority of you... Mm, it's kind of like this energy that this person is, is your soul family. And you'll feel like you've known them forever. It's a very interesting connection because it's very much based on the connection of the soul, the connection of the heart. It's um, And the reason why I'm mentioning it is because you might be from different cultures. You might even speak different language. But what I keep seeing over here is that it doesn't matter because you're love language is going to be the same. You're going to understand each other perfectly. Yeah? And the Ten of Cups, this is your soul family. And not only is the person that you're meant to be with, your future spouse, not only they're bringing their fine selves into your life, yeah, but they're also bringing a couple of really good people. It could be their family. It could be their friends. So it's kind of like they're showing me your... I'm going to repeat myself with the help. <laughs> your soul family expanding, yeah? Okay, let me see what else comes through. About the person that you're meant to be with, the Two of Cups. Oh, my God, guys. The Two of Cups, the Ten of Cups. Now, I'm going to be quite frank with you. You're going to be happy. And maybe some of you are asking, okay, well, how will I know? You're going to be happy. Not all the time, because obviously, you know, life is life. But in this relationship... For the majority of time, you're going to be happy. You're not going to question who you are. You're not going to question their intentions. They're going to be very, very consistent. 
And I know, you know what I'm saying, my lovely option number one, for some of you, you, you darlings might have commitment issues. And this is somebody who will help you deal with whatever is causing those commitment issues. So it could be inconsistency. It could be somebody who was an a-hole to you in the past and you kind of, you want love, but you can't really trust people, right? And that creates commitment issues. That creates maybe overthinking on your part. They're going to help you with that. Just with their energy, just with their consistency, just with their honesty. And I'm saying, you know, for some of you, it's literally going to be, you know, you can look through my phone and I can explain who like every person is if you need it. And um, just to kind of give you that peace of mind, you know. Okay. The Ace of Pentacles. Beautiful. Now, with the Ace of Pentacles, the both of you, you're going to feel like it's... um. The both of you, you are a treasure to one another. Yeah? The Ace of Pentacles, I really like that because this is something that's a chance and something that's rare. So your future spouse, your significant other, the person that you're meant to be with, it's somebody who's quite rare. And maybe that's the reason why you haven't met them yet or why you are kind of overthinking about the fact that you don't want to ruin the friendship because it's a friend. They're amazing as well. And you're like, okay, well, this is a rare person with a rare set of qualities and I don't want to mess it up. But you're not going to mess it up. Now, for some of you, this person might have something to do with police, with, um, I want to say detective for some of you. Ooh. <laughs> uh, Agatha Christie have, uh, fans in the house, yeah? Okay, anyways, um, with the justice energy, it's something that has to do with police, with government. Um, like I said, detective <clears throat> could have something to do with IT. But they're very, very fair. With this energy of justice, they're very fair. Now, funny, I mentioned that um, they're bringing other people into your life, but they're also showing you somebody who is a lone wolf when they need to be. It's a very interesting energy. They're very proud. There's this energy of, of pride. And they just don't kind of go for anybody. They're very selective. Yeah, they're very selective with their time. They're very selective with the stuff that they kind of do. Okay. Let me see what else comes through about the person that you're meant to be with. Interesting. No, actually, let me use a different deck. What else comes through? Okay, you definitely were with them before in previous lives. If you believe in previous lives, because they're showing you like kind of archives and archives and archives. Um, it's somebody who is very devoted. Like when it comes to a relationship, you know, they bring everything into the family. And they're very, very family oriented. And they're very wise. It's, it's like they keep, you will keep on unpacking and packing and packing like, uh, the things that this person likes, um, their their personality traits. Um, it's going to be very like the energy of unfolding rose, I want to say. It's a beautiful energy. And they're very homely. Yeah? Very homely and very attractive. Damn, look at this. Very, very attractive. Now, I know we all have our own idea of beauty, uh, but it's just like this energy of very magnetic eyes. For some of you, this person might have eyes that are just drawing you in. Wow. And you can't stop looking and you're like, damn it, look away. But you can't because their eyes are just, it's like they're, they're the windows to the soul, obviously, you know, and you're liking what you're seeing in, that, in those windows. But it's a gorgeous, gorgeous energy. I'm not going to go too much into looks because this is a general reading, but I am seeing somebody with full lips. Yeah, or like really nice lips. I did mention the eyes. Um, but the eyes, they're like this very interesting color. It could be gray, they could be green, they could be blue. It could even be contacts, guys. But it's more than just the color. It's the way they kind of express themselves through their eyes. It's what you see in those eyes. But uh, very, very nice. And also they're giving me like... Um, 
cheekbones. So quite possibly very defined cheekbones, jawline. Cheekbones are here, yeah, <laughs> jawline. But very like defined features, this is what I'm trying to say. Okay. Tell me a little bit about your love story support. Support. So, okay, you and your, your person, the person that you're meant to be with, this is, um, I know it might sound a little bit triggering for some, but this is the strongest support you're ever going to feel. So, you know, if you're lucky enough to have support to family and friends, good for you. Um, a lot of us, we haven't had the privilege, yeah, of feeling supported. So here, for a lot of you, my darlings, I'm seeing that you're going to feel that support, that it doesn't matter where, it doesn't matter how, it doesn't matter with whom, your person will support you. They will always have your back. They might not always agree with you. They might kind of tell you certain things but in public and things like this they will never kind of turn on you yeah they will always have your back and then with whatever they don't agree they do it with so much respect but they don't discourage you from doing something just because they don't understand it or they think it's insignificant like their concern is your happiness and so will yours be you know what i mean you might not understand half of what they're doing, like hobbies or things like this, but you'll be supportive of them. So it's kind of like I really also like that <clears throat> dynamic where you don't have to become the same person. You know what I mean? You can still have your separate interests and still support one another. And give each other space to just kind of be yourselves. All right, tell me a little bit more. Okay. Strong chemistry, strong chemistry. Now, for some of you guys, um, this is what I'm going to tell you. Because I did say it, you know, it could be a friend. Now, for some of you, I am going to mention this. It could be an ex with whom you were in a codependent relationship. Yeah, or somebody with a codependent relationship dynamic in the past. This is very important to mention because it did come through with the memories. So it kind of does feel like it's one of those rare stories where people have dealt with their BS, dealt with uh, whatever was making them happy in relationships, own up to whatever it is they needed to own up to and came back with a different mindset. Very, very rare. That's why the S of Pentacles came through and that's why I was saying it's very rare to find that change, to find that will to change. And on a soul level, they're going to do it for themselves, of course, but they're also going to do it for you because you're so, so important to them. And they understand that. They're like, okay, everybody can have a pretty face but it's the beautiful soul that I'm looking for, yeah? It's that amazing heart. It's that feeling that your person will get when they're next to you. And you will feel amazing when you're next to them as well. And I want to say this, guys. I know um, a lot of you, you might have anxiety. You might have a little bit of a social, social anxiety. With this particular person, it feels like you're going to be more open to social events. You're going to feel safer overall. And this will kind of lead you to, I want to say, exploring more when it comes to the options of your career, when it comes to the options of your hobbies, when it comes to exploring the world. Yeah. So if you're somebody who wouldn't want to or who doesn't like traveling by themselves, uh, with the person that you're meant to be with, it feels like you're going to be more open, you know? And it feels like you're going to just feel more comfortable. Also, I must mention this. When it comes to the bedroom, a very good compatibility. A very good compatibility. All right, my darlings, that's what I have for you. My lovely option number one. Like, share, subscribe. Let me know down in the comments below if that sounds like somebody 
that you would like to welcome into your life. If you're up for a personal read, all you dare do is send me an email. The email is in the description box below this video. And of course, do check my Patreon page out with over 175 exclusive videos, additional discounts, and much, much more. Hang right, guys, take care now. My amazing option number two, and welcome to your reading, guys. Get comfy as I'm shuffling the cards. Say your name out loud during your hit. You know it helps you better connect to the energies of the reading. All right, let's find out everything that we can about the person that you're meant to be with. Mm -hmm. I know you guys like those readings. I like doing them. All right, let me see what comes through. Knight of Wands. Oof, okay. Your love story begins with passion. Guys, your future spouse is coming into your life. I want to tell you soon, very, very soon. Your love story begins with passion. Now, this is a general reading, guys, but I do see that for the majority of you, this person is not in your life just yet. But they're coming in soon. For whatever reason, they're giving me number eight and they're giving me number five. Yeah, so this could be weeks, but for some of you, it could be up to five months. But uh, with this energy of kind of urgency, the energy of approaching you, I want to say weeks, you know, five to eight weeks from this time, this reading. This person is going to come into your life very suddenly. This person comes into your life with a lot of passion, with a lot of desire, with a lot of ambition. This person might come with a fast car. There's this energy of speed that's coming through over here. Yeah, it's like the person that you're meant to be with, they are so fed up of waiting for you. They're so fed up of waiting to meet you, rather, not of waiting for you. But, you know, it's, it's this energy for the two of you to meet. Because your future spouse is somebody who is very determined, very ambitious. Somebody who, again, they like motion, they like speed. So I would definitely say, you know, um, you guys could be marrying somebody who is a very good driver. Maybe for some of you, a professional driver. Yeah. It could also be somebody who likes horses, horseback riding, uh, somebody could have a stand for whatever reason is coming through, but they keep giving me horse powers. This person could also be um, somebody who works in transportation, and also they're giving me an image of a plane taking off, so it could be somebody, you know, who's um, working in aviation in one way or another. Wow, but ooh, this person, I mean, honestly, look at this. <laughs> the energy is so intense, my cards keep falling out. Um, they're very, very persistent. This might scare you off a little bit because maybe you will be like, okay, well, this is just happening too fast. But it's not going to be one of those romances that, you know, kind of begins with fireworks, you know, and love bombing because we know that. That doesn't lead anywhere, right? It just gives this woo emotional roller coaster and then goes back down. Now with you, this is different. This is something that is going to obviously go down a little bit, but it's not going to kind of go into nothingness, into the pit of just goodbye. No, this is going to be something that begins with a lot of passion and then the passion dies down a little bit. It gives space for love. It gives space for, you know, emotionally being able to open up. But the passion remains throughout your relationship, guys. The passion remains because this person has a very high drive, right? And this person has a very high physical intimacy drive, if you will, right? Very good looking. Eight of Pentacles. Professional in what they do. Now, I must say that for some of you guys, you're meeting this person through work. But again, for some reason, they're showing me it's somebody who's passing by. Yeah. Um, so it's either somebody who's not going to stay long at your place of work, either somebody who comes there for a business trip, or it's some sort of collaboration. Now, for some of you, yes, it's a long-term colleague, but it's a very, very small part of you. Yeah, because for the majority of you, I'm seeing like this person comes in and zoom, um, when we're talking about, <laughs> when we're talking about the career aspects of it anyways. Yeah, but they're very good at what they do. They are a professional.
professional. Ooh, something, you know, for some of you, a very specific message. If you work in marketing and advertising, you could be working with this person and this person. For some of you, they could kind of be popular, right? Like I said, if it's somebody who is a professional driver, um, they could be quite popular. Also, for some of you, I'm seeing just somebody who could be quite influential. It could literally be an influencer. Um, but it's just that this person has a lot of authority. Uh -huh. Two of swords. Three of swords. Oh, five of swords. What is happening? Nine of wands. Yeah, okay, guys. When we're talking about your story, you're going to give your future spouse a little bit of a hard time. Because of that intensity, they're telling me that first, um, your initial reaction, and this is going to be the reaction from your mind, not from your body, not from your heart, but more from your mind. Your mind is like, this looks like trouble. This looks like a broken heart. This person looks like, you know, oof, looks like it's just going to be one of those things. Uh, but I'm going to tell you it's not. Because we are reading about the person that you're meant to be with. And um, you're going to base the initial things, obviously, on your previous experience or the previous experience of your friends or relatives. And you are going to give your future spouse a little bit of a hard time. But I'm going to tell you this. Uh, what they're showing me is everything changes once they introduce you to their family. There's something about the dynamic that you're going to see, the relationship dynamic within their family, and that is going to put you at ease. You will see that this person that you're meant to be with, they had a really good example because their parents might still be together uh, if they're still kind of around. And even if they're not around, you will hear a lot of stories maybe from their siblings. And you will see that, okay, this person is just... It's, it's not who you're going to think that they are at the beginning. And you are going to give them a hard time. But they are going to be persistent. And they are going to prove to you that the image that you have created and the reality is a little bit different. And again, like I said, their family will play, or friends maybe, uh, they will play a huge role over here. Because with the Ten of Cups, you will see that this person actually values the same thing that you value. Yeah, and it has a lot to do with loyalty and it has a lot to do with the importance of family, you know, and um, I know that some of you, you know, you could be very spiritual, you could be very religious, your person is going to have the same values in that aspect as well. Now, I will also say that when it comes to the way that this person is going to look, I'm seeing somebody who is more on the thinner side more on the thinner side, very lean, and maybe quite tall, yeah? But they're definitely not, um, they're telling me definitely not like somebody who's big. No, it's somebody with, um, I would say, sharp nose. For some of you, I'm seeing, you know, somebody with, like, they're just giving me this energy. You know, this person could be from, um, for some of you, this person from <clears throat> Asia, and they might have scars. They might have scars. Because they're showing you bandages. And they might be somebody who had a very serious injury and they had to get surgery. Um, maybe they were a professional athlete in the past. And they kind of had to stop because of uh, like whatever injury they had. But they're showing me scars. For some of you, I'm seeing tattoos, maybe to cover up the scars. <clears throat> okay. Let me see what else comes through with a different deck. What it is that you need to know about the person that you're meant to be with. It's going to be intense. Oh, my God. They're just giving me this energy of intensity. Now, this person is going to take you places. Uh, it's going to take you places that are very, I want to say, unique. 
even if this person chooses a restaurant, it's a restaurant with a particular theme, right? If um, it, it kind of feels like, you know, this person is very versatile. So they might take you to exhibitions, to museums, to art uh, galleries, to uh, places that... <clears throat> um, for some reason, a very specific image came into my mind. I think, I think it's in Kuala Lumpur. Um, those steps, there's like a, a landmark, right? It has a lot, a lot of steps. And I believe there's a, a sculpture at the top or it's just an entrance. Anyways, I'm sorry, guys. I'm, <laughs> I, it's in my mind, but I can't remember. But there's something very colorful. Anyways. Um, like this person is going to take you to unique places. This person, they have their own kind of very interesting and special approach to life. And it's just showing me like different tastes, different cultures, different textures. Like um, it's a variety, a very big variety of things. <clears throat> very protective incredibly protective like with this person the person that you're meant to be with you're going to feel so safe guys honestly it's just this energy of feeling safe for some of you um this person could be could have african roots could be a mixed race but there could be also like very strong african roots okay and again they're giving me um, gallery they're giving me pictures <clears throat> so for some of you, this person could be a graphic designer, a photographer, somebody maybe who uh, works with art. A writer as well, for some of you, I'm very interesting. I don't think it's going to be their main thing, but um, they could be somebody who writes. It's um, a person who's incredibly creative, guys, I'm going to tell you this, incredibly creative. The way that they're going to propose to you is going to be very creative. The way that they're going to show you their view of the world is going to be incredibly creative. But they also know how to chill, because I know I said they can be very intense. They also know how to take a chill pill and just kind of relax. <laughs> yeah. And it's a very sweet image, because for some of you, I see this person reading to you. If you're somebody who likes to be read to, um, this person is going to read to you because they do have this really nice voice, like a sweet, intimate moment that they sh they've, they've shown me. Again, they're showing me creativity. Again, they're showing me, you know, somebody who might be, you know, that they're just those people. They write books. They compose music. They do a lot of things. Um, and throughout their life, they might not have one, two, or three careers. They might kind of just try out loads and loads of things. And it doesn't mean that it's inconsistent. They are consistent, but it's just that they need variety. Somebody who's very fun, somebody who enjoys the sun. Very fiery, guys. Very, very fiery. And I know some of you, you're like, oh my God, that sounds exhausting. It's not. That's the thing. Um, like this particular person knows how to manage this energy. They know how to manage the energy. And you too, you're going to work in a very good balance. Okay, let me see about your balance, your relationship dynamic, your love story, so to speak. <laughs> it's a little bit of up and down so again at the beginning they're telling me you're going to feel that you're very very different to this person but then you're opening up then you're opening up to one another and again it kind of shows me you know being invited to their home being invited into their honestly past showing you showing you the memories showing you 
something that's very important and it makes you trust them because they're showing you the energy of trust. Now, they will help you. They will help you overcome a lot of things. They're showing me like codependency influence. They're telling me something from the past gets erased. Now, one of the love languages is gifts, my darlings. So I would definitely expect this person to show you that they care with gifts. Um, other things are going to come through as well, obviously, but there's loads of gifts. <laughs> okay. So I would definitely say, you know, this person is well off. Well off, even though... Like I said, you know, they might be changing careers, but they're very well off. They do have this Midas touch. I don't know if I should say this in the general reading, but I'm going to say this anyway. Uh, with this person, you're going to be able to fulfill a lot of your hidden desires. Yeah? And... Um, it can be very, very different in different areas of your life. But this person is going to be very open to experimentation. Now, for some of you, this might uh, have something to do with distance. Because they're giving me the hope, they're giving me the energy of the star. Um, it might be a little bit of a long distance relationship for a short time. Or this person will have to travel a lot. Or maybe you will have to travel a lot. But overall, even when you're physically apart... That connection can always be felt at the heart level and it feels good. It feels good. This person also doesn't make you jealous. Even if you are an incredibly jealous person, you, the person that you're meant to be with, they're going to know this about you and they will do a lot of things to make you feel at ease. And most importantly, they're not going to do things that will make you question themselves. All right, my lovely option number two. I hope you enjoyed this reading and it resonated. If you're up for a personal one, all you have to do is send me an email. It was in the description box below. Let me know what you thought about this reading in the comments. And do check my Patreon page out as well. And take good care of your amazing selves now. Bye. My lovely option number three. Hi, welcome to your reading, guys. Get comfy as I'm shuffling the cards. Say your name out loud on your head. Perhaps you better connect to the energies of this reading. All right, let's find out everything that we can about the person that you're meant to be with. Mm hmm. Okay, so they're giving me the Knight of Pentacles and they're giving me the King of Pentacles. So uh, this person is going to take things slow. Yeah, this is somebody who likes consistency. But this is somebody who's so reliable. And this is somebody who, once they make their decision, that is it. It's very difficult to maybe like to convince them or to kind of make this person change their decision. And I'm not talking about mm, not being able to compromise. I'm talking about the decision to be with you, the decision to love you, the decision to support you, to be your rock. Because this is what your person is going to be for you, your rock. Somebody who's incredibly supportive, very homely. I would say um, this person is very much about making money, about leaving a legacy, they're very business-oriented, incredibly business-oriented. I wouldn't say that they're very talkative. No. Maybe it's going to be a good thing for you guys. Maybe you don't like somebody who talks a lot. This is more of a person who is a doer, right? This person does things. This person takes action. This person might be working, guys, for a lot of you, either finances um, this person might have something to do with banking, might have something to do with real estate. Yeah, real estate is coming through, real estate, investments, things like this. This 
person that you're meant to be with, your future spouse, they have this interesting ability to make things multiply. So they can take one pentacle and turn it into 10 of pentacles. And if there would be a card of 20 of pentacles, this person would be able to turn it into 20 of pentacles as well. So somebody very business oriented and somebody who is very, very stable, incredibly stable, consistent. But again, I wouldn't say that this person is very talkative or uh, likes going out a lot no a very healthy amount but i wouldn't say you know this is somebody who you're going to find at the party no for sure no they prefer you know uh, either a nice barbecue with friends you know a lovely dinner at home something very cozy they like autumn how <laughs> very interesting. Their favorite season is autumn. A strong connection to um, mountains. Strong connection to wood. So they might like a lot of wooden things, like natural materials. Now, for some of you guys, I am going to be completely honest, depending on your age. Um, this person is going to be divorced. I don't see any children, though. It's either children that are not not there at all or a child that's grown and maybe is just doing their own thing. Um, but I don't see like a close connection. However, they might be divorced um, and their relationship with their ex might not be the best. It is what it is. Um, they do have quite a few friends, and they're giving me the Three of Pentacles, um, the Four of Swords, but for whatever reason, they're telling me the friends might be at a distance. Yeah, so maybe they relocated when they were younger. <clears throat> Very appreciated. And the person that you guys are meant to be with, um, they're giving me a lot of rewards they're giving me a lot of like recognition and this person is very very respected in the community uh when it comes to other people a lot of people are going to be jealous of you um of of your person because they give me a dynamic of a power couple i will take a look in a minute but it's coming through very very strongly all right let me see if this person is already in your life Or if it's going to be somebody new. Um, they're telling me most probably not yet. However, if you are in a um, kind of communication with somebody who's far away, this person could be the one if obviously all the other descriptions match. Um, because they're giving me the energy of distance with the star. They're giving me the energy of still needing to wait for a little bit. You know, this person is at a distance, whether they're working or, you know, you guys are communicating, um, just getting to know each other. This could very well be this person. If you don't know them, let me see when they're going to come in. Okay, so this could be happening. Give me a second. Yeah, they're telling me a little bit slower than you would want it. A little bit slower within the next 10 months a little bit slower they're saying have patience with this card of temperance <laughs> but they're saying ten of cups it's um it's a beautiful energy by the way if you guys have kids they're going to absolutely love your kid or your kids um, there's this energy of being very close to close to kids like this person likes animals this person likes kids they might have a dog Mm -hmm. Just overall, I don't know, it's kind of, you know what they're showing me, um, the person that you're meant to be with, they really like going for walks. So it's either with a dog, because I'm seeing like images of them seeing a deer, or of them um, seeing a hedgehog or a fox. So they might be living in, a, in an area that has a lot of forests and that has a lot of animals in it. Also, for some reason, um, they're showing me literally Australia, yeah, Australia, Canada is coming through, and South Korea, okay, a little bit of UK, 
Fair enough. And somebody is Italian. <laughs> Brilliant. All right, let me see what else I can see about your future spouse. Very smart, guys. They're just giving me loads and loads of swords over here. Very, very smart. Very well read. Um, for some of you, you know, it's somebody with a PhD. It's somebody who's constantly reading up on things. Um, it's like it's a person who can, you know, you can talk about anything and everything with them. Anything and everything. They're giving me a lot of um, color black. So they might be wearing a black suit for work. The very color might be black. They might just prefer it. Um, but there's this energy of elegant simplicity. So it's not somebody who tries to stand out with bright colors or things like this. It's elegant simplicity, and that's very, very classy. Very, very classy. Now, they're telling me, they're showing me a lot of cards with elongated nose. So, you know, um, your future spouse might be somebody with a very, I wouldn't say a okay, very big nose. That sounds odd. But, you know, it's like it's um, one of the main features. But they're very good looking. You will find them very attractive. Page of cards. <laughs> it's interesting. Because they're telling me that the two of you are going to combine um, like your, your forces. And again, they're telling me, you know, you might end up even building a business together or they might give you a business to manage or something like this. It's a very interesting energy. But there's also a lot of sweetness. When it comes to your love story, there's a lot of sweetness. Like you will see this person who has a lot of authority. You will have this person who is very respected. And then when they go on a date with you, they'll be like nervous. They'll be like, maybe sweating a little bit, you know, and it's going to make you feel good. I'm not going to lie. It's going to make you feel like, look at them getting nervous, but it's a sweet energy. Yeah. Because from the beginning, they will know that they want to build something very substantial with you. But for your person, they want to be sure. They want to be sure and they will be sure but they will still take time to get to know you. They will still take time to maybe show their personality to you. And you will like it. It's not like, you know, something that's going to surprise you five years later. No, not at all. All right, let me go ahead and take a look at the relationship dynamic between the two of you. Black eyes. Black eyes or really dark brown eyes. Okay. Let me see. Relationship dynamic. Your love story. Sweet. Very, very sweet. The two of you, you rub off really well on one another. And you, my darlings, are going to show this person how to love themselves. You are going to bring something that money can't buy to this person. You're going to bring acceptance and they will of course give it right back to you. And again, I would say, I think I was saying it to option number one, it doesn't matter, but um, I know a lot of us, we tend to overthink and then there's this energy where with love and effort, they will help you to stop this constant overthinking process. Beautiful. I'm seeing that you guys are planting trees together, uh, maybe getting like a, um, you know, some sort of land. There's something about agriculture, by the way, you know, your person could have a strong connection to agriculture as well. Very possible. Very romantic energy. You let go of control, you know? 
There's something about maybe you guys trying to micromanage everything. And then there's this sweet energy of just healing that, of just letting go. They're showing you that you do a lot of things out in the nature. They're like showing me swimming in a lake. Um, they're showing me swimming out maybe into the ocean, maybe uh, doing some rafting or something like this. It's just very much connected to the nature, incredibly connected to the nature. This person is going to be big on, on compliments. Might not come too often, but they're going to phrase it in such a way that doesn't sound cliche, that doesn't sound like it was just said for the sake of it. They will know exactly what to tell you at the exact right time, but they don't wear it out by kind of saying it <clears throat> half half-heartedly, if that makes sense. Okay, let me see what else comes through. Commitment, yeah. Look at this commitment. So it's going to be official. Flirtiness. <laughs> this person might not <clears throat> know how to flirt, guys. You might have to show them a little bit. <laughs> they might be a little bit awkward when it comes to flirting. Just because they don't, I don't know, they don't usually do it kind of thing. I don't know, it's, it's that sort of person. But once they choose you and you choose them, it's for life. And you'll feel very, very safe and secure. All right, my lovely option number three. That's what I see for you, my darlings. I hope you enjoyed this reading and it resonated. If you're up for a personal one, all you got to do is send me an email. The email is in the description box below this video. In the same place, you'll find the links to my Patreon with over 175 exclusive videos, additional discounts on personal readings, and much, much more. So make sure to check it out. All right, guys, take care now.